Hey guys, today we're going to ask the age-old question. Do rechargeable batteries still suck? Well, we all know we did this. Sometime in the late 80s, early 90s, every last one of us went out and bought boatloads of rechargeable batteries. We stuffed them in every TV remote, every one of our kids' toys, every little gadget and gizmo that we have, including our dildos, and we used them. And you know what? We found out they sucked. You know, they had a really high self-discharge, their capacity dropped off after just a couple of charges, and their shelf life wasn't the best. You know, they're only good for 200 charges. So they found their way to the recycling bin. And we kind of forgot about it. You know, we got a little bit of therapy to get over it. You know, we showed them on the dial where it touched us, and, and that was that. And we got over it, and life went on. But nowadays, the technology has changed quite a bit. And people don't really know about it because we had that bad experience, you know. We still remember that Christmas party where our Uncle Teddy got a little touchy-feely. And it's kind of keeping us away from these rechargeable batteries. And they've really changed a lot. They're so much better, guys. And with the nickel metal hydride technology, there's just so much more going on with these than the old ones. Number one, self-discharge. These things have very low self-discharge compared to the old nickel cadmium batteries. And now they even have these low self-discharge batteries, which are even better. And you're talking only discharging maybe 10% over the course of a year, which is really awesome. You know, keeping 90%. So it makes them good for, really good for long-term storage, you know, emergency flashlights, things like that. Or even just using in your TV remote. These things are going to be very good and very serviceable even after a year of sitting around on your dirty coffee table. And even the ones that aren't low self-discharge, they still last quite a while. You still get, you know, a couple of months out of them before they're drained. Completely just through self-discharge. Shelf life vastly improved. Those old nickel cads, 200, 300 recharges. That was it. Even these cheap Tenergies get 500. These Immediates get like 2,000. The Synergies get like 2,000. Some of these get 2,000 or even 20. I think the new Eneloops get 2,500. That's a lot of recharge. If you recharge your batteries every single day of the year, you literally can recharge them every day for eight years before they're bad. That is fantastic. For the average person who might only recharge once a month, once every couple of months, these things will last you a lifetime. Capacity drop off. Now I kind of have to take other people's word on this because I don't have means to do long term testing without making a video five years from now. So, what I've read is that the capacity on these new nickel metal hydrides actually stays very good. Even over the course of 100, 200, 300, 400 charges, they're still maintaining 90 or 80 percent of their capacity compared to those old nickel metal hydrides you know you use them five six seven times and the capacity almost dropped in half i mean they were pretty much you know a handful of charges and they were and they were garbage these ones are not like it so of course there's different varieties there's different types but for different applications for example i use these little tenergies here for like my kids toys <clears throat> maybe if i'm going to be using something one day you know, that it doesn't need to be used long term. I tend to use those. Tenergy Centuras, which are low self discharge, I've been using in remotes. Uh, medians, I use in this uh, camera here you're looking through. I use them, I swap them out with my Eneloops and use them. They're pretty much uh, very similar to Eneloops. These uh, Duracells, these state charged Duracells, are actually a, uh, made by Eneloop with a Duracell branding on them. And then some more of these Centuras. They're good. They have really good performance in flashlights. They are better at high amp. I think I mentioned this. These things handle high amp a lot better than alkalines. So if you're doing things like RC cars, things that draw a lot of juice, nickel metal hydrides actually outperform alkalines, which is really cool. They have really good uh, <coughs> protection against cold and heat. These things are really good. They will last a long time. They're not going to turn into garbage quickly. And you can store them. You can store them long term. If you want just some emergency flashlights, 
you know, emergency backup power, you can get yourself a small charger, a small solar panel, and a bunch of these, and charge them once a year to keep them topped up. And you can actually have a very good, successful system that will last you a very, very long time. So, <coughs> long story short, the rechargeables don't suck anymore, guys. If you go out and get yourself some good end loops, get yourself some of these good uh, Tenergy uh, Centuras, some of these Duracell Stay Charge, the Mediums, a lot of good brands out there, just Google it and you'll see. What are the best nickel metal hydride batteries? What are the best rechargeables? People, guys, there are people out there who do nothing but test batteries. And utilize their expertise, learn about these batteries, and you can have a really good uh, experience with them. Unlike that, uh, those 1980s and 1990s batteries that we all shamefully use. So, <coughs> and there it is, guys. The rechargeables, they don't suck anymore. Check them out. Do your research, think about it, it might be something you want to get back into.